Let's get a scouting report on the Lakeshore Canadians, who are one of the teams participating in the Schmalz Cup Final Four this year, taking place in Woodstock starting on May 12th, presented by Milk Up. This is Anthony Iaquinta, the head coach of the Canadians. First of all, Anthony, thanks for joining us. Uh, what's been the recipe for your success here in these playoffs so far? Yeah, thanks, Darren. Thanks for having me. Um, you know, our, uh, the recipe for us is, is not simple, I don't think. Uh, we kind of rely on everybody. We have a, a pretty deep team where, you know, everybody contributes on any given night. So uh, our goaltending has been really, really good for us here in the past probably month, month and a half. And uh, from there, you know, we just try and play hard in front of them and, and, and hope for lucky bounces here and there. Give us some of the names of the players that we're going to see at Woodstock that are going to be key contributors to hopefully your success in terms of defending the smallest cup title. Obviously you won it last year in that dramatic overtime goal, mm -hmm. uh, you know, from Dylan West. And I'm sure you haven't forgot about that, but who are some of the, the new players or returning players that are going to be key contributors. If you guys are going to do this again. Yeah. Uh, you know, starting from probably in goal, you know, we're, we're very fortunate. We have two that can, uh, that can play really well. And, and we kind of been rotating, uh, Nick Bolton has been new to us from uh, Amherstburg in our league. Uh, he's been a great addition. He works hard and, and yeah, he's uh, he's come up big for us in a few of these series. Uh, and then returning for us was our, our starter from last year's Smalls Cup final, uh, Romano Liberti. Uh, and again, you know, those two between between them, they, they give us a chance to win every night. Uh, coming from the back end, you know, our captain Dean Albano, he's he just works so hard and, and he's so responsible defensively and keeps it uh, very very simple. Uh, Josh Sirene is our uh, our other defenseman that we rely on quite heavily, and from there again, you know we we, we roll them. So you know Blake uh, Blake Doe and uh, Connor Fable. Uh, Connor was there last year. Blake came from in our league as well, um, and then Ethan Galvin returned, and and we got uh, Neil Garvey, who's a uh, just a 17 year old defenseman that we picked up out of uh, Windsor triple a and uh, up front. Yeah. We got again, similar, you know, which is, we don't really have anybody that we sort of have to rely on per se, but you know, Kyle Walker eats a lot of minutes for us. He, he probably, um, you know, he doesn't seem to run out of energy. So <laughs> we're thankful for that. Um, and we got Eric Bison and Marco Sedoya, who's been, who have both returning guys who have been good. Uh, Bryce Scarlett's returning and, and he's been really good for us as well. And uh, from there, just a, a mishmash of, you know, guys who are, who are new and returning that, uh, you know, we, we rely on and, and we trust on the ice and, uh, you know, kind of like a community, we, we just make it work so that we're doing what we need to do to, uh, to get the wins. How much does last year make a difference going into this year, just in terms of that experience? Right. You played in this tournament. It was the first time they had this tournament last year, as opposed to the best of seven series that they had for all of those years. A lot of your guys are familiar with, you know, the pressure of the games and the big moments and that stuff. Do you think that can be a factor when you guys get to Woodstock? Yeah, I think it's just it's more or less uh, like you just said, the, the nerves. Right. I think that, you know, looking at our, our room and, and we practiced yesterday and talking with the guys, uh, they're. Um, a little bit less uptight, you know, it's not that they're overly confident or, or we're arrogant in any way. They're just, they've been here before and, and they understand what's at stake. So um, that's, that's a nice part of it. Uh, and saying that it's, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's going to be four teams who are, who are going to compete and, mm -hmm. um, you know, anybody can win on any given night. That's the tough part about the, the tournament and, and it's what makes it exciting. You're a little bit familiar with Clarington, obviously, because you played them in the championship game last year. Can you just assess what you know about Wellesley? The other series isn't done yet between Mount Forest and Stainer. How do you approach this thing, Anthony? Yeah, it's a great question. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not so sure I have an answer you know, or, or the right one, at least. Uh, you know, from our perspective, we try not to overdo it on, on like what other teams have and, and what they don't have. We were more or less concerned with our with ourselves, right? Um we want to make sure we're ready, ready to go, no matter who it is. You get little scouting debriefs, I guess, from from other people in other areas, and sometimes they're perfectly accurate and reliable. Other times, they're um, you, you wonder what they see if they're seeing things different than you. And um, you know, for us, this round robin, the first four game or three games, sorry, is just going to be your your brief look. And you know, we we try and preach all year to our guys. We got to be ready to make small little adjustments in game, and and they got to pay attention and, and they got to be aware. And um, you know, that's kind of our approach, just on our toes and, and ready to make changes. And here's maybe what the other teams need to know about you guys: overtime magic, right? <laughs> I have to ask you about what was it? Five overtimes, 
five and a half hours. Um, also, your clinching game against the SX 73s that have been a rival of yours for uh, obviously a really long mm -hmm. time. Um, you guys just seem to find a way in overtime, whether it's in the Schmalz Cup championship game last year, five of <laughs> these. Let's focus on that. What was that experience even like? Have you ever been part of anything like that at all? No, 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 not that long. We were, uh, it was, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of funny. It's, it was almost like a, a team building moment too. Right. Cause you know, they were getting restless and tired in the room. And uh, you know, I found out after they were talking about scoring on their own net just to finish the game, you know, they were all tired of it. And yeah, it was a battle. We ran out of material. You ran out of uh, you know, your Gatorades and your food and it's too late. All the stores are closed. So you can't get anything. And, you know, we're trying to be positive with them and, and uh, you know, and try not to get frustrating because, you know, it was some of the worst hockey you're probably ever going to see towards overtime four and five. But, um, you know, the one thing about our team is they're, they are pretty resilient. They uh, they really don't look elsewhere. They, they take onus on, on their responsibilities. And, um, you know, that's a big reason why we've had the success that we have had. Uh, last one for you. Let's talk about the community. Uh, the fans, the sponsors, the executive, a lot goes into getting your team into this position, winning stops, winning the Western Conference, obviously, and now you're coming on to the final four here. Um, what can you say about the support you received and, and all the different arms that go into building a successful hockey team? Yeah, it's not it's not easy. Um, you know, it starts from from our top and our management and ownership is just it's it's incredible the the support that they they show us and uh, the resources they allow us to use. Um, you know, John Stephen Savage. Uh, you know, they're they're incredible owners along with uh, Mr. Schwab. They're just they're they're awesome people too, and uh, they're really supportive. They they came up last year for us and they didn't have to. And then you know, uh, great people great people of, of, among anything right like it's just it's perfect it's a dream situation really and then from there it just keeps going uh mark segan our gm you know he works tirelessly and he's um such a great guy to be around and, and again that's that's the one thing that i say that you know i'm very fortunate for is just the good people around our area right so uh my assistant coaches ron susie lane parent um jack bull or milan dobrik they're 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 just the best to be in the room with. They're, they're fun. They, they get it. Uh, they get what we're trying to do and it's uh, it makes it easier for me and, and not to get, no, not to take on too long, but um, we have a, a whole group of volunteers, you know, Ryan Arsenal, um, Jamie Gillett, Brendan McPherson. Uh, they help out in the room and their equipment. Uh, they do an unbelievable job making sure everyone has what they need. And then just, game day and support uh, we got B and Paula at the, at the front they make cookies for the boys and uh, <laughs> they do just about everything for us uh, Carmen Bob Chauvin uh, Bill uh, Ed Henry Carter who, who helped us a lot Pat Joyce um, Richard Kathy and even our uh, social media Olivia she's she's done a great job for us and all these people they do they do such little things for, that it seems for for people on the outside but for us, we know like we know what we have and, and we're so appreciative. It allows us to just run a better program and, and take care of business. One request for you. Yeah. Please bring the cookies to Woodstock. <laughs> There's some good cookies, Darren. I'm not going to lie to you. Coaches uh, have been known to take a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> they are the Stobbs Division champions, the Western Conference champions, and they are going to Woodstock starting on May 12th to defend their Schmalls Cup title. That's head coach Anthony Iaquinta. Uh, thanks so much for the time, man. Appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you guys in Woodstock. Awesome, Darren. Look forward to seeing you in person.